We are here on a climbing hill at our test site where we are recreating extreme situations in which we test the all-wheel drive. Having already carried out the tuning, defined the locking values and done the road testing with regards to handling, we also need to check whether the part also holds up in extreme customer situations. We take the vehicle with the most powerful engine variant, the greatest output and the most torque. We take tires with the largest rims and the least rubber so that it contains few damping elements. We drive in the sharpest drive select mode and disable the ESC completely. Put simply, we always want to cover the absolute worst case scenario in our testing. Therefore, first we measure the weight including the driver and then we load the car up to the permissible gross vehicle weight. In this case, we have loaded it with 25 sacks weighing 20 kilograms each. So in total we have 500 kilograms plus the driver, meaning that we are absolutely at the limits of what is permissible. Here we have an installation where tiled areas repeatedly alternate with asphalt, with a very high amount of grip. This installation is then watered. That enables us to simulate frequently driving on sheets of ice even during summer operations. We start the test with the rear axle on tiles and the front axle on rough asphalt. And then we perform launch control drives in order to subject the rear axle to the maximum load. It is very heavily loaded and then suddenly comes from the patch of ice onto the asphalt and experiences very high torque peaks accordingly. And if my rear axle is on ice, all of the torque that I need to get this heavy vehicle up the mountain must be distributed over a single axle. This means that the center differential needs to distribute the torque and balance out the rotational speeds with a full engine load all at the same time. Of course, that is an extreme load for this part, but it must be able to do it and must not suffer any damage. To conclude the test, we then drive over the entire patchwork quilt of ice and asphalt with full load acceleration. That results in very heavy impacts throughout the powertrain. But no damage is permissible there either. The benefits to the customer are that their center differential will never go to pieces and also that the rest of the drive will hold up for 300,000 kilometers or more. The claims for damage from the field are virtually zero and also show that we are right to take this approach. It is simply important to test the parts in extreme situations to ensure that they will also last forever.